Now, when I told you earlier that I didn't meet Christians until I was 27, that was to have a conversation with one. I actually did get to see two Christians from 30 feet away when I was 11 years of age. And these were two gentlemen in dark business suits that came into our public school classroom. They were Gideons, and the Gideons, as you know, is an organization that puts Bibles in hotels and hands them out in public schools where they were allowed to do that. And at that time in Canada, the Gideons had a free access into all the public schools. And they put two boxes on our teacher's desk and left without saying a single word. But we were all invited to take one if we wanted one. And uh, I took one and I put it on my bookshelf and I didn't touch it for six years. And uh, by the way, I still carry this uh, Gideon Bible around with me that I got at age 11. You'll notice the cover is gone. That's because we had a pet dog that chewed the cover off. <laughs> and uh, I have two sons, and uh, one of my sons concluded that our dog was from the pit of hell because he was destroying the Word of God. <laughs> the other son was a little more positive. He says, no, we have a dog that's feeding on the Word of God. So. <laughs> But I'm rather glad I didn't read this until I was 17 because the Gideons gave me a foreign language edition that we affectionately call the King James Translation. <laughs> and if I had read it at age 11, I think I would have been quite intimidated by the language. But the benefit of being raised in the Canadian public education system is it's starting in grade seven. They just blast you with the plays of William Shakespeare. We had to study one or two plays every single year and memorize literally thousands of lines from those plays. So by the time I was 17, I was fluent in King James English. And uh, when I picked up this Bible, right away I could tell it was different from all the other holy books I had studied. It wasn't esoteric. There wasn't this appeal to intellectual snobbery that if you're one of the great enlightened ones, you'll be able to understand the meaning of this text. Rather, what I found was writing that was clear, it was direct, it was to the point, it was specific, and it was easy to put to the test. And I also noticed that Gideons didn't give me most of the Old Testament, so I went out and got a complete Bible, started on page one, and there I saw the account of uh, creation in Genesis chapter one. And uh, the thing that really caught my attention was Genesis 1 perfectly followed the scientific method. 